Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Great to be here tonight. I hope you're having a fine evening. What are you doing? I've been a bad boy. I think I've sinned. Well, we've all sinned. Everybody knows that. Hubie, everybody knows I've sinned? Sure they do. Oh, I don't feel comfortable anymore. Hide me, hide me. Ah, I know what you need. No, I'll tell you what I need. I need a bigger partner. No, you need to look at the Book of Romans. Romans? Yes, Romans. How is looking at a bunch of my relatives going to help me? No, you need to read about Romans. How is reading about a bunch of my relatives going to help about me? Romans is a book in the Bible. How is reading a book in the Bible going to really help me? Ooh, that's a good idea. Sure it is. Romans, let's say, um, 715. <laughs> 715, why not make it 730? Or how about this, how about 8 o'clock? Romans 7.15, I do not understand what I do, for what I want to do, I do not do, but I hate what I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good as it is. It is no longer I myself who do it, but the sin living in me. There you go, simple. I'm so confused. All right, you sin, right? Oh boy, do I. But do you want to sin? No. But a part of me must want to sin because I did it. I'm so ashamed. That's my point exactly. It's not you doing it. No, no. Well, must have been me. I'm pretty sure it was me. No, it's not you. It's the sin inside. Oh, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Look, when you sin, it's not you doing it. It's like, well, the old you. Now I've got an old me? You've got an old you? What does he look like? Just like you. He doesn't look any older? Nope. Then what's the point of having an old me? It's the old you who sinned. The new you wouldn't do it. Oh, wait a minute. I sin. Of course you do. But you're saying to me, it's an old me who looks exactly like me. Therefore, it's not me doing it. Exactly. It's the sin, sin inside. inside. The only thing I've got is a bruised sternum. Okay. Say I go out and I rob a bank. Well, I wouldn't suggest it, but fine. You rob a bank. And they have 12 eyewitnesses who saw me do it. Okay. And they have pictures that show that I did it. Exactly. It's the sin inside me. Now, do you get it? I'm not sure, but tell me first. Who gets to keep the money? What money? The money my old self just stole. Well, you can't keep the money. That'd be wrong. Hey, I know it's wrong, but say the old sinful self, he's not so sure it's, it's wrong. He wants to keep the money. It's a lot of money. It was a big bank. What you're describing is the war raging inside of all of us. Oh, now I'm at war. Of course you are. You want to do what you know you shouldn't do. Then why do I do it? It's not you doing it, it's the sin, sin inside. inside. I hope you get that, you big dunderhead. Dunderhead? He called me dunderhead. Okay. Let's say I sin. When? Before? No, no, no. I'm sinning right now! How do you know it's a sin? Well, is thinking bad about somebody sinning? Of course it is. Then I'm sinning big time right now. Okay, now we've established that you have sinned. And the Lord sees it. Of course he does. Who does he think did it? Look, when you sin, if you have faith and repent, in the, then the Lord sees you as holy. Now he sees me as holy. Of course you are. Then what am I doing robbing a bank? It's not you doing it, it's the sin, sin inside. inside. I hope we could get this one thing straight. I'm very delicate, and I hope we can get it done in one cut. Okay, let's say, according to Romans, there is a war waging inside of me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I do what I don't want to do, but I do do what I hate. You just I said just, do do. Oh. Go on, go on. Okay, but if I have faith, then God, he sees me as 
holy, even though I'm not. Therefore, it must not be me doing it. It's the sin inside. I think you got it down exactly. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's simple. If you say it's simple one more time, I'm going to start wailing on that new man inside you. And the old me is going to wail right back. Oh, it's war, is it? Exactly. It took you long enough to underhead, but you got it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Hope you have a very fine evening. May the Lord bless and keep you.